Hi, everybody. Welcome back to .NET MAUI Minutes, where we cover some basic .NET MAUI topics in just a few minutes. I'm your host, Maddie Monaquilla, and today we are going to look at how to add borders and corners to different UI controls in your .NET MAUI app. So we're going to hop right into the file new project. And I have actually customized this button here. So it has a white background, black text, and is just the default button that this platform gives me. So I'm on Windows. So this is giving me a little bit of a rounded corner here. You can see no border or anything fancy. But if I were to run this on Android, uh, this would be a perfect square. And depending on the version of Android, might have a light border. On iOS, it's just going to be no background color, no radius, no border at all. And so if I want to start customizing it to look the same on all the different platforms, I just have to add a few different things. So I can set the border color. Let's do fuchsia. And the border width, let's do 10. That's going to be huge. There we go. Um, and just like that, I've added a border to my button. So doing it this way, adding the property right to the control, works for anything that's basically like a box that makes sense to have a border. So buttons and images, um, other controls like that. I can also add my corner radius here. So let's make this 15, and it's going to make it like really circular, just like that. And again, this is a really easy way to just customize things like a button to look the same on all the different platforms. But like I said, this only works for the controls that make sense to have a border and a corner. Something like a label, which technically a border of a label would be a border of all the words, which is not really what I want. Um, I can create the border container. And that has a lot more customizations than just adding the border into the control. So let's make that here, border. Um, and I'm going to put the label in it. So I'm saying I have a border container with a label in it. Tab this a few times. Make my XAML nice and pretty. Um, and now it's drawn this little thin gray border around my label. Let's set the width so that we can see it in this screen, 200, nice. And then I can start customizing it the same way I customized things in the button. But since it's a different control now, a little bit different syntax, instead of border color, we're going to use the stroke. Um, and we'll do fuchsia again. Almost spelled that wrong, as always. And then the stroke thickness right here, which is how you set the width. Um, same thing as before, except I can customize this way more than the other button. I can create like a dashed line using something called a um, stroke dash array. And then I give that a couple of values here. And it will create, based on this array I gave it, a dashed line. And I can play around with this to kind of find what I like. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to show you the join. So get rid of that. I can join these lines in either a bevel, a miter, or a round. So bevel will give it like a little angle at the edge there. Super cool, easy to, easy to use. Um, and then I can also change the shape of this. So we are going to give the stroke shape ooh, a round rectangle, which is a shape built into Maui that is literally just a rectangle, like the basic border, but with rounded corners. And that's what it gave there. Now, to customize the corner radius of this, I want to use the round rectangle because it has a corner radius property. And I want to actually expand this. So we're going to close this here. We're going to give a border.stroke shape property like this. And then I'm going to delete this so that my syntax is valid. And then we were going to give the stroke shape a round rectangle property with the corner radius of, let's say, 15. Close that out. Give it a sec to render. There we go. Now I have a round corner. With the button, the way that you apply the corner radius is the same across the board. But if you wanted to do something like have four different corners, you can also make this an array. So if I do 15, 0, 0, 15, you can see that now two corners here don't have a radius anymore. And it gives it this cool little shape. So that's just another way that you can customize things to fit kind of your brand or your design or your logo or whatever you need it to be. So that is kind of your crash course in borders and corners. There are a lot more options that you can add to any of them. Um, and all of that is in our documentation, which we will link in the show notes. So be sure to check it out and join us for another .NET MAUI Minute.